Hello, this is Lee from The Game Creators and this time I want to show you some more progress that we've included in Alpha Build 5. Last time you saw the introduction of entities and widget control systems. We've now completed that work with a full entity tool and entity properties panel. So let's start off by adding an entity. So we'll drop in a barrel and get a little bit closer. You'll notice now that when you click the barrel you have an entity tools with entity transform panel underneath. The Entity Transform panel allows you to control the mode of the widget. So we're in position right now, so you can position. You can switch to rotation, or you can use the widget to rotate. And you can also use these values here, or set one manually. And of course, scale, so you can change the scale of your entity. Beneath the Entity Transform and Entity Tools, you've now got mode buttons. So you've got Entity Edit Properties, you've got Extract to Cursor, you've got Duplicate in Place, lock entity and find floor. These will be familiar if you remember the old widget system. So let's say we moved the barrel high, find floor, we'll find the floor. We can extract it to the cursor, so put it here. We can also duplicate, so it leaves that one in place and gives us a second one. And you've got lock entity, which locks the entity in place. And of course, we've got edit properties, which then brings up the entity properties panel. In addition to the dynamic Lua system, which allows you to easily select a behavior for your entity, so we'll have this one spinning, or we can have it hovering, you can also edit the materials. So if we enable custom materials, we now have access to the textures, the settings for those textures, the base color and the emissive color, and some options that we can select, such as flipping the normals, setting the object to transparent, using planar reflection, and whether the object casts a shadow. So if we wanted to have some fun with this barrel, what we could do is set the reflectance really high and change its base colour so it's got this sort of goldish colour to it. So once we've edited the entity, let's just add in a start marker and press test game. So as you can see, we've now got a nice shiny barrel that's now hovering using the hover behaviour. The great thing about reflectance is it reflects lots of things around it. So we change the sky to say golden and rerun. You can see the barrel is now reflecting a golden sky instead of a blue sky. In addition to completing the entity work, we've also activated our character creator, structure editor and importer panel. So let's start with the importer panel. So you select the importer, go to a file you want to import. On this occasion, we're going to import the arms that we're eventually going to be using to have him hold our weapons within the game. As you can see, we've imported the geometry, but it still needs textures. So we can go to Albedo, specify the colour, specify the normal, and specify the surface texture. We're happy with all the other settings, so we'll just give it a name, arms, and then select Save Entity. So let's add the entity. Select arms, drop it in, I'm just about to see it there, pull it up, and those are arms. So let's have a bit of fun with this imported entity. So if we select the properties, choose a custom script, we'll use the view animation, we'll go to advanced, we'll switch off physics, switch on immobile, and test game. So what the view animation script does, it actually places the model rotates it to face me, but then it allows me to hold down shift and press the left mouse button and I can see the animations that were imported along with the model. So that's the importer. Now let's look at the character creator. For the character creator you have three categories. So you've got adult male, adult female, you've even got zombie male. Let's get rid of his hair. We'll be adding more body parts to our zombie category, but you can actually save him right now, so we'll call him Mr. Zombie, and save character. So let's give this guy a cool t-shirt, some shoes, colourful legs, let's give him some red jeans, and let's take his hair off and give him a hat. We'll call this guy Mr. Bob. Save, return to add new entity, look for Mr. Bob, we add him in, and there we have 
a newly created Game Guru Max Mr. Bob. Finally, we've got a structure editor, so we can go to structure editor from the toolbar, place down where you want your construction site, so we'll have it here. As you can see, on the right, you've got the structure properties for all the things you're going to need. So let's paint um, a tiled floor, like so. Then maybe a brick wall. And maybe some stairs made out of wood. And maybe a platform which leads onto the first floor. So we'll select the floor, go up, select it there, go back down. So now we've got a staircase that will lead you up there. Now you'll notice it's sort of dark, so what we can do is confirm that's a structure editor. We go to markers, select a light, drop in a light, say here, and it lights up our structure. Of course, you can add all different kinds of lights. We just drop it in quickly just so you can see what's going on. Now, if you select your structure, you can also edit structure. So we can go and make some changes, which we want to do now. So we wanted a piece of floor, which is actually metal. So we put three pieces of metal down there. Now, here's a cool thing. If you hover over any of your selection, you'll see at the bottom you've got material three, metal. If we go over to the wood one, material four, wood. Carpet, material one, Generic. Now you can press 1, 2, 3 and 4 to change the material of each of these textures. So if I say normally this carpet might be a generic sound but I can change it to wood and then paint some carpet by selecting the carpet and then painting that down instead of the tile. Of course when you're completely happy with your structure you can give it a name Lee's building and then click save structure so that's the current structure that's in our level but we can also go to entities and look in the use EBE structures you'll see Lee's building we can drop that in and maybe give that one a different light let's put it under a green light so now we can test game and we can go up the stairs we can go down the stairs, or we can go to our proper entity and go up the green stairs and down the stairs. So that's the structure editor. Of course, you'll remember from the last sneak peek, we've activated load and save levels. So here's a little level that I created. And just to test some of the logic, I'll click test game. I'm afraid we're all out at the moment, but if you like to leave your name I'll get back to you as soon as I re reinsert my brain. <laughs> so as you can see I didn't spend a lot of time <laughs> creating this level but I can certainly go in through this door you can see nice reflective puddles got nice shadows there's a light being cast there so you're casting these shadows if we go through this paneled area we can actually see a creepy zombie <laughs> that we don't want to get too close to and of course there's a spotlight being cast just from that side all the way over to that wall so as you can see large chunks of features are coming back online and I look forward to bringing more progress updates in the weeks to come check out the link below for a great discount on Game Guru Max don't forget next Wednesday we're going to do a live Game Guru Max broadcast so go to the Game Guru forums and check out when that's going to be also, don't forget to subscribe and please do share this video.